I'm going to teach you how to create WordPress menus for the boss theme. So the theme has four primary menu areas. There is one in the title bar up here, one that goes into your profile drop down, and then uh, one that goes in the footer, and then one that goes in the left panel, which we refer to as the buddy panel in this theme. So you can see in your profile drop down automatically you get, if you're an admin, links into the dashboard area and links into all your BuddyPress content. We're going to go to Dashboard Menus and we're going to create a new menu. So let's call this first one Title Bar. And we're going to put that up at the top. And then I'm going to add a couple of links into there and save it. And then we're going to go to Manage Locations and assign it into the Title Bar location. And these two are also areas that are optional. When you're in a profile, you can add links into the profile navigation. When you're on a BuddyPress group, you can add links into there as well. So let's go to the front end, and we can see our links are added into the top. If I go ahead and make the page smaller, they collapse but give you the ability to still get to them. And then now let's go ahead and add some links into the left panel. So I'm going to go back to Edit Menus and we're going to create a new menu. I'm going to call this one Body Panel. And let's add some links into there. I'm going to make these uh, fly out links. If they're indented, they're going to fly out from the left panel, which I'll show you momentarily. If we go into Screen Options, we can actually add some special links. These are body press links to parts of your profile that only show up when you're logged in. And so let's go ahead and just add all of them, including logout. That'll be cool. Add to menu and save it. Okay. And then go back to manage locations and make sure we assign it. Now let's see what happens on the front end. So here we are. We've got those, uh, the, the first link that I put in with the drop downs, which are shown as flyouts and then all of these other body press links we threw in and a logout link. And if we minimize it, you can see the flyouts working. Now, another cool thing, let's say, so see how you have these um, icons that show up? For all the body press links, we've automatically added icons that we think you'll like. And then for any other page, you might want to put your own custom icon in there. And it's actually pretty easy to do. So we're going to head on over to Font Awesome. If you're not familiar with this, Font Awesome is basically uh, a free icon pack and we've included functionality for this in the theme that's actually where we're pulling these icons from and you can add your own font awesome icons into your own links in the body panel if you would like to so let's just sort of pick one at random we'll use the automobile okay so we're going to go back to editing the body panel and that first one members we're going to want to add the font awesome icon in here. So we're going to go into screen options and display CSS classes. Okay. And then in font awesome, they show you the class to add. And this is it. You can grab the small version or the both, both uh, pieces of text like that. It doesn't really matter. Both will work. Add it, save it. And then sure enough, we've got a custom icon in there. And the same, this is the buddy panel on the left is the only one that will accept these custom icons and display them correctly. But the process we just went through is the same uh, for every other menu. You can add custom menus into here again and uh, into the footer and they'll show up here. 